Well, this started with a vision. It was just basically I sketched what it looked like and then I sort of drew all this and then we sort of made it work. We, you know, made it happen and it pretty much looks exactly like the sketch, so. Just, uh, you gotta dream big, I guess, and, and go for it. John, uh, we're at Garden Island. Just come to look at this. Pacemaker was a 19 foot. Stretched her a little bit to 21. A few other modifications. Other people think it's a cuda craft, but it's clearly not. They've got a pretty good reputation for being good to see worthy hulls. They ride pretty well through the chop. And yeah, I just thought, why not? Picked up the hull pretty cheap for 400 bucks, but it was in quite a state. Obviously been parked up for many years in a garage. The owner had sort of started to strip it. The floor was up and the stringers were partially up. And yeah, needed a lot of love. Say hi, John. First step was gut it totally. So we cut the transom out and got rid of all the stringers. The top deck I made with like a framework. So I sort of put plywood braces this way and then bent plywood over this way and then glassed it all up. Lifting this up obviously gives you more room in the cabin, so that was handy. That was a no-brainer, because me trying to squeeze in there, it's not going to work. And yeah, the breaker bent, bent up some ply, put the windows in so the kids and Amanda could see and while they're driving. Transom, we just extended it. Um, I made a, a mould and just extended it probably 700 mil. For the pot extension, I just basically um, bent MDF to the shape of the hull um, and built a framework. So I had the hull sitting on the concrete floor in the workshop, all sort of um, propped up so it was true. And then the MDF, I sort of moulded to the hull and, and cut it and made it. So it just followed the chines um, and then yeah, sort of angled the back in so it wasn't just your square transom like most boats. I thought I'd make it a bit, you know, a bit more friendly on the eye. Put a few curves in it. Sort of made it a bit easier to get in and out. A bit more modernised on the back there. I think it's 24 degrees in the rear and obviously it gets sharper up the nose. Um, when I cut the transom out, I give it a little bit of a squeeze too to get a bit more dead rise in the back. The transom is thermalite, laminated up thermalite, clamped in there. End up being about, I don't know, 75 mil thick. Yeah, so I borrowed a stringer out of one of Andrew Wright's boats and modified that, stretched it a little bit so it would work in this and cut it to the hull. And yeah, laid it up really thick. Didn't put any uh, kill tank in it, just all fuel tank through the middle so we could get to the islands, do the big island trips and everything. It'd be over 500 litres. Floor is a plywood um, that got vacuum infused at um, Shockwave there, so they helped us out. We sort of cut it all CNC uh, v grooves through it and holes in it so that the um, resin can infuse right through it so it's pretty much you know 90% resin now. The keel we extended a little bit um, we could have probably extended that a bit longer because when you start trimming up at high speeds it will try and walk on you so it's not not for the faint-hearted. This is gel coat so we went the extra and did gel coat. The hard yards definitely wasn't fun. So I got a, a friend to do the spraying, fins refinishing, and then we rubbed it all back and polished it all up. So a lot of hard yakka, but worth it in the long run, I think. Uh, well, it's a stronger finish. Obviously, it's harder to chip, um, and it can be polished up again a lot better than two-pack just takes a lot more labour and the costs blow out. 
There's lots of favourites. The engine's probably got to be up there, it's, you know. Gets it out of the hole pretty quick. Gets plenty of people asking about it. Turns plenty of heads. Actually, we picked it up pre-COVID times where, you know, before things went crazy and you couldn't get engines forever. It had a few hours on it and low compression in one of the cylinders and we rebuilt it down at stem to stern there and we thought why not just you know you've got the uh the, the same block and everything so we re-ecu'd it and gave it the extra 50 horsepower so it's now 350. We load it right up and go to the Montes and fully loaded with three guys it's uh we've got 47 knots so it definitely performs well and it cuts through the chop pretty well. Got a lot of weight down low. Yeah, so Lone Star, uh, definitely the best winch I've ever had. It goes really well. Got the Lowrance 16 inch, which does the job up the front there. Shows us where we're going and the bottom. It's got a 600 through hole transducer. What else we got in there? Oh, we've got the uh, Fusion stereo. Uh, the missus got a nice amp for it, for Chrissy. So that makes the tunes pump. Wanted some decent pockets to put the guns and fins in in the back, so we made those custom and just laid them up um, in the front. We poached the tidal pockets from their boat because I was making a few plugs for them, um, so they fit nicely in the front. It was a long process and a lot of time sitting in the shed. Didn't add up the hours, but yeah, it was, we did it in under a year. You know, the costs I kept pretty low because a lot of uh, people I know helped um, and the hours that I put into it obviously add up to a lot, but yeah, probably kept the build under 50K. Today we've got Amanda, uh, Dave and Jonty, whoever could get the day off and was keen. We did it tough over here, some new ground. Uh, we got three crays that were keepers and a little skippy. Yeah, so we just did a bit of trutso first to get the, uh, the rust off the hot plate and uh, yeah, then we sort of cut it up in, uh, what are they called, medallions and yeah, crays taste pretty good. Give a shout out to Old Man Blue, the, the Cray Loops. Ocean West Electrics did the wiring on this and he's uh, starting up and wiring a lot of boats at the moment. So WA Undersea, we'll give them a shout out. It's a spearing club that we're members with. The Coastline Development Team, Dylan and uh, Dave, they did a lot of the dirty work. I've just always loved the ocean, uh, surfing and diving and just the lifestyle. Uh, yeah, boats is just, you know, an extension. Helps us get out there. Embrace the budgies.